Hi, I'm Grace from Minea. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use Facebook ads filtering. Despite the fact that the Facebook audience is aging, it remains the best platform for running ads. Here, you can view all the ads that Minea collects and analyzes, but we want to identify only trending dropshipping products, right? So how do you find these products? It's all about using advanced filters located on the left side. First, select specific dates to view when an ad was created or last seen. Let's choose last 30 days to focus on products that are currently popular. Second, there's the media type. You can decide whether you want to see image ads or video ads. Videos usually work better because people engage with them more. Next, there's the CTA button or call to action. This is the button that sellers have chosen for their ads. Use shop now or buy now, as these indicate products that people can buy right away. Then you can filter ads based on the platform they are being sold on with Shopify being the most popular choice. Lastly, there's the language filter. You can search for ads in a specific language. Now let's move on to the engagement filtering. Engagement refers to the number of likes, shares, and comments an ad receives. More engagement suggests that the product is selling well. Shares are especially crucial because if people are sharing an ad, it means they really like the product. With these filters, you can choose to see products with low, medium, or high engagement in terms of likes, comments, and shares. You can even select a specific engagement level for each reaction. If you want to dig deeper, there are advanced filters. You can narrow down your search based on the age and gender of your target audience. You can even filter ads by country. Here is one of our new feature, the is dropshipping filter. This feature allows you to focus only on dropshipping products and streamlining your search. Once you've set your filters, the next step is sorting. There are four powerful sorting options that I personally recommend. The first one is last seen. This helps you stay updated with the latest trends. Second, there's time running. Ads that have been running for a while are likely making a profit, but be cautious because if too many people are selling the same product, it might not be as profitable anymore. Third, shares. If an ad is being shared a lot, it means it's going viral, which can help your ad reach more people. Lastly, there's the anger filter specifically designed for dropshipping ads. When a product evokes strong reactions or opinions such as anger, it's very likely that the product has high virality potential. Now, let's say you're in a rush or a bit lazy. There's an even easier way to find trending product. We have quick filters right at the top, built by our team of dropshipping experts. To understand what a filter is, simply hover your cursor over the button. Finally, if you're looking for a specific product, use the search bar located here. Now that you know how to use Facebook ads filtering with Mania, you're well equipped to find the best products for your dropshipping business. Now on the Pinterest ads tab, you can see all the ads currently running on Pinterest. The filter options are pretty much the same as Facebook ads. You can pick a specific date, media type, e-commerce platform, and language. The main difference from Facebook ads is the engagement filters. On Pinterest, engagement is misread by pins and saves, which you can filter right here. When searching for trending products, look for pins and saves with high engagement. These show products that have grabbed the audience's attention. Similar to Facebook, Pinterest allows you to set filters for your target audience based on age and gender. Plus, you can specifically filter for dropshipping products. Using our new feature is dropshipping. Finally, I want to emphasize that Pinterest is often overlooked, but it really shouldn't be. It's a hugely popular network in the US that allows you to run campaigns without spending too much on ads. Thanks for tuning On the left, you'll find advanced filters designed to help you discover the right products. If you don't use filters, you'll see all the products advertised on social platforms, collected instantly and analyzed by our system. Just like with the Shops tab, there are two types of filters, those for promotions, focusing on product ads, and those for product information. Let's start with the promotion filters. First up is the promotion date. It tells you the first or last time our system saw the product ad. For fresh trends, select last 30 days. Next, check out the number of ads running for the product. You can specify products with ads currently running or any product that has ever been advertised. 
You can also pick a platform like Facebook, TikTok, Pinterest, or Influencer Placement. Hover over the button for details. Now, let's choose High Engagement from the suggestions for the engagement score. Moving on, we have Engagement Growth, which highlights products with a surge in engagement over the last 24 hours or seven days. Now, on to the product information filters. If you know what niche you want to address, use the category filter. Let's say we're interested in pet food and supplies. Set your language to English and select your currency. Want to target a specific audience? Use filters for country and age. Then you can select the product price range from low to high ticket. Lastly, there's our new Is Dropshipping filter. It narrows down your selection to dropshipping stores only. After applying these advanced filters, you'll need to sort the results. Move to the right of the page. Here, you can sort by engagement score, growth, and published at, showing you the most recent products first. Feeling a bit overwhelmed? Don't worry, we've got you covered with quick filters at the top. These were crafted by our experienced dropshipping team. Hover over them to know what each filter does. Lastly, there's the search bar. Need to check the performance of a specific product? Just type the name here. I hope this tutorial helped you navigate the products tab. Remember, explore those filters to uncover hidden gems. How to use the shops tab. Here on the advanced filters sidebar, you'll find two types of filters. Those related to promotions, the ads that a store runs, and filters based on shop information. Let's start with the filters related to promotions. When choosing the promotion date, opt for last seen and last 30 days to view recent ads. Click on number of ads to narrow down your search further. You can specify shops that are currently running ads or have ever run ads. Additionally, you can select a specific platform, such as Facebook, TikTok, Pinterest, or even influencer placement. Just hover over the button to get an explanation. Let's go with total ads running and select medium advertiser from the suggestions. Moving on, there's the engagement score filter allowing you to choose stores whose ads perform well. Another interesting filter is engagement growth, which helps you select trending stores within the last 24 hours or seven days. Click on high growth to find these stores. To modify or delete a filter, simply navigate under the search bar and manage the filters applied. Now let's explore the shop information filters. You can specify the e-commerce platform a store uses with options like Shopify and WooCommerce. If you know your target niche, the category filter is perfect for you. You can specify the language, currency, and product price range. You can even define your audience by country and age. Let's choose young adults for this example. Lastly, don't miss our new filter, is dropshipping, which lets you exclusively select dropshipping stores. Here's a tip. You can find quick filters right at the top, crafted by our dropshipping expert team. And there's one more feature left to explore, sorting. On the right, you can sort by either engagement score or growth. Finally, if you already know the competitor you're looking for, there's a convenient search bar at your disposal. Just type the store's name and you're all set. Remember, practice makes perfect. Don't hesitate to play around with these filters and explore the wide range of opportunities they offer. On TikTok ads filtering, before we dive in, Make sure you've watched the Facebook ad session because the filtering process is quite similar. Still, there are a few minor differences that I'll guide you through. Now, we're on the TikTok ads tab where our system showcases and analyzes thousands of TikTok ads daily. The filter options on TikTok ads are much like those on Facebook and Pinterest ads. You can pick specific dates, e-commerce platforms, and languages. However, what sets TikTok apart is its unique engagement filters. On this platform, engagement metrics include plays, forwards, and downloads, right over there. To find successful products, pay attention to forwards and comments with high engagement. Similar to other networks, you can specifically filter for dropshipping products using our new feature, Is Dropshipping, enabling you to select exclusively products sold by dropshippers. Lastly, TikTok is a trendy platform. It's an excellent place for discovering user-generated content, UGC, and creative ideas. 
as well as for experimenting with organic content. See you next time.